Okay, today we're going to have some fun with our new Canvas tool, which is currently in beta. Just a heads up, this feature is only available for basic, plus, and pro plans. All right, let's say we want to create an image of a person holding a drink, but we want to replace that drink with our own product. We want to make sure it matches the lighting and blends seamlessly with the rest of the image. While Ideogram doesn't directly support product reference, you can achieve this by using the Magic Fill tool and incorporating an image as a reference. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's start by generating our main image. We'll add our product afterwards. Generating an image in Ideogram is super easy. Simply click up here and the window will drop down. You can start by typing something very basic. And if you have magic prompt turned on, it will enhance your prompt by adding more context details and stylistic elements. You can also choose from a wide selection of aspect ratios or input a custom one. If you have the plus or pro version, you can make your image either public or private. This is where you select that option. There's also color palettes that influences which colors will be prominent in your image. You have a few palettes to choose from, or you can create your own custom palette as well. If you click on this down arrow, more options will appear like rendering quality, seed number, and negative prompting for things you want to avoid when generating. Okay, so let's enter a prompt. For this example, I entered the prompt, a young man smiles holding a splash burst soda can outdoors on a sunny day with a blue sky and greenery. Above him, the tagline dive into flavor is displayed like an ad, while the can sparkles with vibrant, refreshing colors. Then I click generate, and these are some of my results. I really like this one, so I'm gonna send this to the canvas so I can alter it. You get to the canvas by going up to these three little dots right here and click on edit in canvas. This will open up the canvas window. Here you see your image, and on the left, you can drop this down to view previous Canvas projects you've worked on. I recommend labeling these for easier organization. Just click up here and type a name. Now, although this soda can looks great, what if I need it to be a specific design? Let's do that by adding my product in here. I generated this fake soda brand for this example, but it can be any brand, like Coke Zero. Just make sure the product is clearly visible. Now let's bring in our product image by clicking here where it says upload. Go to wherever you have your image saved and upload it. From here, make sure your product image isn't covering up the main image. You can push it back by clicking on these three dots and selecting send to back. Now let's put our product on the side right here. Just make sure it's in full view. Next, we'll use the magic fill tool. Choose either the lasso or rectangular tool whichever helps you select the area best. Select the area you wanna change and you'll see a pink and purple overlay showing what you selected. Once you've selected your area, click next and a pink and purple bounding box will appear. Adjust the frame so that both your product and the can you want to replace are inside the frame. Make sure the frame isn't too big as everything in this box is a fixed resolution. So the smaller the frame, the more detail will be generated inside it. Then enter a prompt. Better descriptions lead to better outcomes. Here's an example. On the left side, a can of soda is shown on a white background. Also, make sure to describe the original image or adapt your original prompt. Finally, click on Magic Fill. Wait a few moments, and then there you go. Pretty cool, right? If you click on the area you just generated, you'll have four options to choose from. I love how the lighting matches the environment perfectly. To download, go down here to the download icon. An outline will pop up, allowing you to select the area you want to download. I'll make sure only my main image is selected and you can click on this down arrow to choose between a JPEG or a PNG format, then download. Just like that, you can place your product in any image faster than ever.